I feel like this is just payback to the reaction channels. She is not giving us any type of content to react to and she's making them longer so she's pretty much saying work for these views bitches. I can't go to the loo because it's dirty. Dirty. No, you can't go to Lou because you're a 600 pound <laughs> obese woman. Let's just stop. This is Sorry, weird. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. Now today I will be reacting to Amberlynn's video. I do want to thank everyone who remained patient while I was gone. I did move and I did need some time for that and to just get a few other things in order in my personal life. So I appreciate you guys being patient. I don't want to make this this long intro. Let's get right into the video. Oh, this is 28 minutes. Help me. Hey guys, so I just wanted to start my vlog. Um, I have to go to the store and I need to do a little bit of grocery shopping, but also tomorrow I'm having like a little friends moment. So I'm gonna go pick up like, I get just together. like finger foods for that, like veggie tray and stuff like that. So that's what I'm about to go do. Again, anytime she's hanging out with people, and it, it involves food. And I don't remember which reaction it was. It was one of the last few ones that I mentioned. If she took her weight loss seriously, she probably would lose friends. I don't understand why food always has to be involved. I'm going to assume anything she's choosing right now will be healthy. But we can remove the food. That's all I'm saying. Oh my god. My nose ring is tickling my nose. But... Yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day today. I kind of woke up in just like a weird, funky mood, and I hate when that happens. Amberlynn, like, that's like, been you all of 2019, day, girl. I'm trying to snap out of it, but it's like really hard. You guys, I forgot I was vlogging today, so we already went to Kroger. Um, some of the foods that I got, I mean, I guess I can... No, I probably won't show you. <laughs> because, Why? okay, a few months ago, when I put away groceries, I really couldn't. I could maybe put away one bag and then I would sit down and just be like exhausted and like defeated. Um, but now, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but like I cook without sitting now. I do the I dishes without that. sitting. That's I good. put away all the groceries without sitting. Of course, like Becky helps me with the groceries, but I do everything That's good. without sitting now. And it just feels really weird. I'm gonna be honest because I can relate to for that. For the longest time, I had to constantly sit because I couldn't breathe or something was hurting. I mean, my back still hurts and my legs get a little crampy because they're just, you know, they're not used to that. But it's just crazy. So when I get home, like, I'm gonna try putting away the groceries, like, with the quickness so I can, like, you know, be able to do it and be accomplished and feel good about it. It does so feel I probably like won't she should keep this up. <laughs> But I got like broccoli, cauliflower, hey, why isn't she I got brown this? rice, I got fresh salmon, so I'm excited to like season that and cook that myself. Good. Um, what else did I get? My goodness. I got a few like frozen dinners. Those are for like times where like I literally am like, mm, not cooking. Because usually when I don't want to cook, I'll get like fast food, but I'm not doing that whole bit. So I'd rather just have like a small TV dinner. Like who cares? Um, I got like healthier versions of like TV dinners though. Um, I also got more deli lunch meat, turkey, oven roasted, um, more wraps, because love that. And then for tomorrow, for, like, my little situation of, like, friends coming over, mm. I got veggie tray, fruit tray, I'm gonna make another cracker tray, which was super fun. Becky's gonna make, like... While she's getting all these things, I need her to get Rosetta Stone to work on uh, the English language. And also, I don't understand why she still doesn't wear a seatbelt. It's really dangerous. Like, all jokes aside, it's really dangerous to keep driving. Any person driving without a seatbelt, yes, is dangerous. But morbidly obese people like myself were at a greater risk of dying in the case of an accident. So... I don't know through all the reading she does if she didn't have a chance to Google that and find out the statistics and how sh her life is in danger even outside of, you know, her lifestyle in general, but she should really get a seatbelt extender. It could be embarrassing, yeah, but it can help save her life. God forbid something happens. Pizza rolls. She's so cute. I don't know. Um, what else? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Oh yeah, ruffles and like French dip just for a little like chip situation one of my friends is actually making a dip so i bought the chips for the dip which i'm super excited because it's like a buffalo dip or something mm, i'm like pumped but yeah um we're on our way home now it's getting dark 
So, we got home a little bit ago, <clears throat> and I got some packages in the mail, more Christmas presents, and I still haven't put away those clothes. I did put away, like, half of them. What happened to all that energy she was talking about? And there's more on there. But I got this, like, tripod that actually stands up almost okay. as tall as me. If you want to hook these things, and like, whatever, this whole thing. But that's not the tripod I meant to get, so I'm kind of upset about it. I wanted, like, a tripod to hold with my hand. What? Not that. So, I might give it to Eric. I'm Unless Amberlynn went blind during the time I was gone, there's a clear difference between those traditional tripods and the handheld ones. So, unless she's blindly buying things, which actually describes most of her channel, then she would have seen that it's not a handheld one. I feel like she's so irresponsible with money because she knows if she makes a mistake, she could just replace it. Unlike, you know, the average person <laughs> i know it's something so small but it just speaks to how she spends irresponsibly like when she buys clothes and she doesn't bother looking at the material but she'll do a haul saying something about the material she doesn't like you can just read about the material and see it's the same material you don't like move on to the next piece of clothing it's just a common pattern that bugs me <laughs> so much i don't know because I already done did, opened it all, and I know people make fun of me when I say done did, so shh. Um, next thing I got was literally, you guys, I have a MacBook Pro, and so far, I've had three chargers break in the last, oh my god, how long have I had it? Maybe a year? A year Damn, and a half. What are you doing? And I had to buy my fourth one. So, I bought another charger. That's no fun. Let's not forget, she um, only uses the MacBook so Pro to read um, comment of the day. I like to color high. <laughs> so I got this Christmas Why? color by number. Okay. Please don't judge me. And then I got this really cute bag. Oh my god. Hold on, let me sit you guys down for this. I don't know if I just haven't been paying close attention, but I've realized... I think that's the benefit of not reacting these last couple of weeks. I've been able to like really, you know, watch other reaction channels and pay attention to certain things. Now, I've noticed that recently, from what I've noticed, she's been pointing out things that I feel like that are forcing people or really influencing people to leave negative comments. Like, for example, the clothes behind her, she pointed it out. The whatever wording she used and she said, I know people don't like when I do this. I know people don't like when I do that. I feel like she does this on purpose to influence a negative comment and then go off and do comment of the day just to complain about the negative comments. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just feel like it's a bit calculated and maybe I'm reading too much into it, but... I've just been noticing it more and more. Why give people ammo to leave a negative comment? If they're going to notice something, let them notice it. Even like with me, there's so many things people can notice to give their criticism or whatever on. But I'm not going to go out my way to help you find that, that reason. You better look closely and find it yourself. I'm not going to give you the influence or give you the wording or give you the idea of what to comment negatively about me. Or my videos, you know what I mean? That doesn't make sense. So, I was on the Amazon doing my thing, and I was actually looking for Christmas gifts um, for a friend of mine. She wanted a purse, so I got her one, but I happened to Oh, is that a real... Oh, no, it's this. not. <laughs> no, it's not. So cute. There's two zippers right here, which I love that. It just makes it... I don't know why I have to open both of these, like... I do love gold hardware. It's actually a purse. I don't like this bag, but I love and gold hardware on bags. There's this cute zipper right here. And I know people are going to be like, how are zippers cute? They just are. See? Two little I know people are going to be like, how are zippers cute? Like, Do you see what I'm saying? She. I don't know. I find that really weird. Pouches right here. And on the inside is fun. You guys know. It's like a normal side zipper side little pouches but it came with this which i'm it's like she's instigating the negative comments I, I couldn't find the wording to save my life but i feel like she's instigating the negative comments that are going to be led left in her comment section actually probably going to use as my wallet or something but it also comes with this oh my god i don't know if you guys can see it right here in this mm -hmm. middle part there is like a little pouch with a zipper you guys fell. Are you guys falling for me? Not a chance in hell. 
So yeah, I just thought this was adorable. I just wanted to show you guys. I love it. It wasn't too expensive. Um, I think literally like 30 something dollars, which is like nothing. So super cute. Guys, I'm gonna make fresh okay. salmon for the first time ever. And I'm a this is nervous. really good actually. So I'm gonna set the oven. I make fresh salmon about once a week. It used to be once every other month um, because, you know, I just didn't have the funds. But I make uh, salmon about once a week. It's the easiest recipe. I did look it up on YouTube uh, just to confirm I made it right. But, um, well, to get inspiration how to make it. But very little, at least in my case, very little seasoning. Cook time is very short. It's the simplest, in my opinion, thing to make. So I think this will work well for her because it's so simple and easy to make and it tastes great. I need just one of these. Let's just set it right here. Who's sweet tea is that? Turkeys. Oh, that would make sense. Put that mm -hmm. down. I'm gonna need some aluminum foil. Wait, why can't she use a tripod right. for this? Wow. Instead of walking around with the. knows how to make salmon it's like amber these views come on probably not that difficult so i'm gonna use pan spray for my seasonings garlic salt we're gonna do some pepper i don't think i've ever and used garlic salt before probably i wonder some hmm. onion powder okay now you guys get to see the beautiful salmon look at that it's a honker i will not be eating all that look so i did get it from oh Kroger. i'm starting to understand i think i'm starting to understand why this video is 28 minutes she's putting in a lot of unnecessary clips i don't think we needed to take the walk with her to the fridge i don't think we needed to see her opening up um the drawers and all that i i see why this video is 28 minutes <sighs> And this is what I react to coming back. <laughs> My life. It was four eighty seven. Salmon at That's Atlantic. That's really affordable. Ooh, I'm excited. My so, salmon's like seven bucks. Spray what the hell? This. We do not want it to stick. I also do not want to touch the salmon. Nope. So I'm going to use a fork. What is she doing? To get it out. So this is probably two servings for sure. Or at least to me it is. Um, I've never seen someone do this there's before. There's skin on the bottom, so I'm kind of like weirded out. Do you guys see it? <laughs> Okay. This is like a 12 year old We're gonna add garlic salt. Whoa, okay. But it's a big piece of salmon, so maybe. That's still a lot though. Onion powder. No, she's overdoing it. I, I was trying to give you some credit. No, she's overdoing it. And pepper. I love pepper. Bam. Mm. Ta da! I I mean, like as long as it tastes good stuff. and she sticks with but it, I guess is, that's all that matters. Because I saw someone else do it. Kind of like gently pat it in, if you will. Does that actually do anything? So. So when I make um, my salmon, I season it with a little Himalayan pink salt, a little black pepper, garlic powder, and sometimes I'll, if I have it, I'll squeeze some lemon in there and 
about a teaspoon or less than a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. I watched a video um, to inspire me to make it, like I wanted a simple recipe, and they said to put it in the fridge for like 30 minutes, so I do that. I'm not sure if that does anything, but I do it just because I followed the instructions. And then I, I don't remember what degree I set my toaster oven to, but I, it'll bake for about 30 to 40 minutes. So yeah, it's not that complicated or over seasoned. And then, tiny, like that, because I wanted to get golden, oh, golden, <laughs> I like my meat really dry, hi, that's me, so I wanted to get super, super, know. like, dry, and the ends to get, like, kind of crispy, so I'm going to wait for the oven to be done, it's almost done. A little off of the day, while we're waiting for the oven. Don't do it dog dress from Torrid. This really cute blue sweater cardigan also from Torrid. Mustard color cardigan from Target. Black hoops from Torrid. Not sponsored. Oh, we both have a so bun. So I have leftovers from last night. Oh, we both have a bun and a cardigan on. Oh, Jesus. I'm watching too much of Amberlynn. Cauliflower and broccoli, so. I'm gonna warm it up. You guys, look. I mean, it looks good. Completed. So. I'm not gonna lie, that flaky sound. It's juicy. It sounds like she is cooks it, it pretty good. I'm gonna check the middle. This is like a first time thing, so I wanted to do it on here. The middle is the most important. Oh yeah, it's cooked. We should not check if it was cooked skin. prior to plating it. I was so excited. I took a bite without vlogging. <laughs> what is she doing? What is this? Wow. I'm so confused. Same. This is why this video is 20 oh minutes. <laughs> Who asked for what this? What is happening right now? I've always had, like I said, processed frozen salmon or from a um restaurant so this is like it's like buttery or something i'm so confused i didn't even add butter you guys make the salmon just how i made it mm, i wouldn't do that your life will never be the same y'all i'm sorry if this grosses you no, out she doesn't like the skin I ate the whole thing. I love the I was skin. freaking hungry. The skin is a no-go. I, mm. nope. I did not like that part. And the part in between the skin and the actual um, filet has this brown part, which is actually where the omega-3 is at. Okay, so I ate in. some of it on one side, but I didn't eat the other side because, you know, I don't need that much fat, let's be real. This was incredible. I'll be doing this again. But I definitely don't think I needed the whole piece. That's just my opinion. No, so she next could time eat I that. Before I even plate no, it, she's I'm 600 pounds. She can eat that. To save the other half for another time. Like, I eat six ounces of my protein. I'm pretty confident that's more than six ounces. But she's double my weight. So I feel like that... I'm not a nutritionist, so don't actually... Let me not comment altogether. What I'm saying is I think that would have been fine. That's that's all I was saying. So we actually just got done watching The Grudge 2. We watched the first one last night. Second one tonight. Third one maybe tomorrow, but we're kind of like busy tomorrow, so I'm not sure if we're going to, but yeah, it was pretty scary. Babe, what would you think? I thought that was pretty creepy. I think she wants to be left alone. <laughs> it's weird. Becky's becoming more scared of movies. Well, I'm becoming less scared of movies. I think I, like, gave it to her. Because I used to be, like, terrified of scary movies. And now I'm like, eh. Hey, guys. So it's the next day. Um, we're just getting the finger foods ready. And I want to show you guys my cracker situation. Plate tray. So it's actually two trays. <laughs> Here are the crackers with this really delicious, like, garlic and herb cheese 
And then we have the salami and cheese. I might have bought too much salami, but or too much I'm probably going to send it off with my friends because I know we're not going to finish it all. But yum, it's Becky's making pesto mozzarella paninis. So here's the dip, which has to actually go in the oven. But my favorite part, veggie tray. Becky's favorite, fruit tray. Oh, okay, guys, tray so, so it's good. actually the next day. I didn't vlog anything yesterday. Mainly because I wanted the little... I've been noticing her videos getting longer. I feel like this is just payback to the reaction channels. She is not giving us any type of content to react to. And she's making them longer. So she's pretty much saying, work for these views, bitches. I swear, that's what this is. This is so boring and I'm only 13 minutes in. 14. But, oh my god, save me friends thing to be like private and then i was gonna vlog afterwards but i was like loving on wasabi and my eye because i'm allergic to cats hi my eye which so much better today thank god but this eye got super super itchy and i physically could not stop itching it which i probably should have and so my eye ended up getting very swollen to the point of like, it looked like this, like literally. I'm sure she didn't go and to a doctor. And it was super red. And since I itched it so bad, I actually scratched the actual eyeball. So I was in so much pain. Eric kept trying to hold me down and put eye drops in my eye. It was actually really funny. And I just didn't want to vlog with my eye looking like that. But so much better today. I'm going to go like clean it, take care of it. I just wanted to pop in and say hello. It is the next day. So I just made me some lunch. Well, that looks good. Angel hair pasta, which is my favorite. We have some ground chicken. I put up some onion and some bell pepper just for some oomph. I put broccoli and cauliflower and the like spaghetti sauce is no i'm happy for her i hope she sticks to this from the brand classico this is the first so meal super, she's had that that i can remember pumped. that so i would eat because i fasted for 20 hours like if she did a video which is so stupid because she should have done this like if she did had put in this video how she made this dish right here i mean i can cook myself but there might have been a chance one day i would have followed it this this is something I'm sure a lot of people would love to know how she created. It looks pretty simple, but it looks good. But then she's sitting there opening drawers for three minutes straight instead of like doing this kind of content. I feel great. So I'm weird and I think Becky's looking at me crazy. Oh, I think that, <laughs> that bites of pasta is super satisfying. So I'm going to... Emily, I just for you guys. complimented like I you. Why do you do this? Bombs. Babe, is this weird? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Because it's for Marvel, feeders. Right? It's, it's for feeders. Okay. What's the purpose Ready? of this? <laughs> I'm dying. Are you watching me like a live move ball right now? Yeah, I'm watching. Okay. Ready? I know what my thumbnail is going to be. <laughs> So, was that satisfying for you? I hope not. <laughs> I guess. What types of things to you, like, to you, do you think are satisfying? I don't really know. Really? I know I'm not really a, um, watching people eat type of person. Yeah, she does not watch move bombs. No. Yeah, I feel like she's, like, the more of the person who gets people the food to eat type of person she's an enabler i couldn't imagine becky being a feeder but obviously she's an enabler that would oh, that'd be really weird Ugh. tell them what you're watching now oh, what you've been a uh, public freak out compilation she's been oh, watching the weirdest videos on youtube all day long and i'm living for it like that's why her phone is propped up right there <laughs> Right now, someone's car's trying to get towed away, but the people are, like, not letting them take it. Saying, oh, you know, we'll pay you 20 bucks. And the guy's like, well, it's not. You know what would be a great use to that MacBook right now? 
is if Anne Boleyn, instead of letting Becky describe this in the most boring way possible, she takes the clip that she's about to describe, put it into this video so the rest of us can see and laugh, and then go back to talking. That's one of many things a MacBook can do. Just saying. Andrew, but I'll do it for 40. No, I will. We only have 20. <laughs> so they're arguing about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my God. Sometimes We'd she'll love to see go it. on Facebook and she'll watch one video. And then like seven hours later, I'll be like, babe, you haven't moved. Because she keeps watching them. Yes, yes. It's so funny. You can get lost but in what do you videos. Have dinner? I don't know yet. Well, lunch. See, because our lunch time is like a little bit later than the average Joe, so I always say dinner when I'm meant to say lunch. Well, because you guys wake up really late. Oh, because well. we'll I try to in. eat three meals a day to keep me satiated, no snacks. What about you, babe? Give them the tea, the food tea. Well, I had. Yeah, because we want the misty tea. But we'll take I didn't this have for breakfast now. today. And then later on. I don't know. I sat chicken out, but it's not going to be thawed till tomorrow. So you can always thaw chicken in the microwave, but that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Mm, right? Because there's like a thaw button. I'm like, no, honey. And then some people thaw it like under hot water. And I'm like, no. Nope. Uh -uh. I don't do any of that. But what I do, I don't know what it is about an oven. Like, I mean, an oven that hasn't been in use or anything like that. If you put your meat in the oven don't turn on the oven but literally just sit it in the oven it actually thaws out faster than if you place it in the fridge um like for example my chicken breast if i put it in the oven again do not turn on the oven you just place it in the oven like in a plate or something i'll come back in two to three hours and it's completely thawed out it's not cooked or anything like that again do not turn on the oven but i think because your oven is I don't know the reason. Uh, my mom taught me that. I don't actually know the reason, but it works. <laughs> we had to do that when I worked in dietary. That seems gross, right? Yeah. And like, what I like to do is take it out the night prior, put it in the fridge, call it a day. You wake up and it's thawed. Yeah, me and her eat separate meals because she doesn't like cauliflower. She doesn't like things like this. Like, you, you hate onion, which is so crazy because I feel like oh, it has so Amber, much flavor. You've said it so many times. No cauliflower or onion in there, I'd probably eat it. It tastes really good. But I don't want to sit there. And you know what? Watching Amber yeah. Lynn sometimes I think is what people say are saying when they watch reaction channels because we kind of say the same thing. But she's been saying this for like. So I feel you guys. I. I <laughs> Reddit, I now understand your complaints about me. Because, <laughs> uh, woo, yeah. Yeah. I'm She's saying up. the same thing. Sure. What kind of vegetables do you like? Like, if you could put a vegetable in a spaghetti, like, what would it be? Besides a mushroom, because that's a fun guy. Mushroom. <laughs> she loves mushrooms. Um, green pepper. I, like I put red. Both. I put yellow. No. I put purple. Okay, so... Do you, why am I asking so many questions? Like, I don't doing, know. Like, interrogation? Why yeah. is this so long? <laughs> it's because people want no. to see the Rebecca. No, people want to see the I Rebecca with Ricky crap. and Eric, not the Rebecca with you. You look beautiful. You still see ya, baby, look like crap. No, I'm squishing your face, though. Wait, move your hand. <laughs> why is that funny? I don't Wait, know. let me pick your nose. <laughs> let me tickle your... People are going to be like, go what to am I sleep, watching? but like, leave me alone. Okay. Tell them peace out. Bye. Hold on. Ugh. Watson Itch? <laughs> Did I sound like Kate Winslet? Do you want an itch? <laughs> you, know, you sound like you have a very bad speech. <laughs> I can't. Okay. That's another video. I got video. to go to Lou. No. I can't. I'm not an accent gal. No, you're not. Same. Okay. I struggle. I don't know. Actually, you, you tend to pick up accents <laughs> wherever you live. That's true. Was that a hate comment? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Say a sentence in How Kate Winslet Talks. I can't. And then I'll try to repeat it. I can't do that. Just. I can't do that. I can't do that. <gasps> I can't. 
I can't go to the loo because it's dirty. Dirty. No, you can't go to the loo because you're a 600 pound <laughs> obese woman. Let's just stop. This is Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Let me apologize to anyone who will be triggered by that horrible accent I just did, but sometimes you just gotta play along and make this reaction fun. How, where am I? 20 minutes in, oh, eight minutes, oh, hopefully. Eight minutes of comment of the day? But anyways, I'm just trying to get through this reaction. Whew. Eight minutes. I mean, she's talking a lot. Okay, so we're gonna do comment of the day. So the last video I uploaded was Eat With Me, Egg Allergy Torrid Haul. And I do want to say, egg allergy, I should have said egg intolerance, so I do apologize. And to those of you who have messaged she me, apologizes also for have, the dumbest have stuff. an egg intolerance, a lot of you said that it got worse as you got older. So I guess that makes sense for me. So anyways, I'm going to let these load. I have almost 6,000 comments, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right. Let's do it. I have an off-brand one, Kryzen Canadian, and it's actually really good. <sighs> I hate this. I hate this so bad. I wish I knew what you were talking about, but I just, I literally don't Same. remember. Um, off-brand. Uh, I don't know. But whatever it is, you said it's actually really good, so that's a good thing. Next. Ironic how I got a Gordon Ramsay ad. <laughs> I'm assuming it's probably because I put Eat With Me in the title and there was, like, food in there. That's just what I'm going to assume. Love me some Gordon Ramsay, though. <laughs> um, that's a reply to someone. Why don't you just do a weigh-in to prove that you were losing weight? I'm actually really glad I got this question. Mm -hmm. I have been told so many times that everything I've done in the past regarding weight loss doesn't work so no, try something no, no, no. different she has not been told that what she's doing doesn't work what she the way she's going about it doesn't work like she doesn't put the effort in most of these uh, diets or lifestyle changes that she's tried it's worked for many people so it's not that they don't work it's the way she's going about it that doesn't work because she gives up a few hours in or a day in so she's I don't know if it's a you know, slip up in how she was saying it or if she's gaslighting because it did sound genuine the way she was trying to answer it. But it's not that these diets don't work. It's her. So every time I go on a weight loss journey or I try to go on a weight loss diet or like a lifestyle change, I am always vlogging it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like I overshare, especially yes. in the beginning of when I first started to do YouTube. Mm -hmm. So something I wanted to try doing different was just not weighing myself on camera until I got to a point where I was like, wow, I'm proud. Yeah. Because I said this probably a couple of months ago, um, around the time that this was a conversation again, why she wasn't weighing in. And I think she felt the pressure and then she weighed in and then people realized, okay, you're not losing weight. But I did say this, that I feel like Amber Lynn probably will try to lose something significant like 50 pounds and then come back because she knows at this point that her word kind of means nothing so at this point if she's been eating like this she probably maybe has lost a good 20 pounds i can't tell the difference because of her size she'll probably need to lose a bit more for me to see the difference because we watch her so often just like the people in your day-to-day -day life they take the longest to notice because they see you the most but for someone who maybe watched her three months ago coming to her video today they may notice a difference but we're not going to notice the difference because we watch her so often that's um you know been a conversation of topic or conversation like on twitter and stuff like that and it came to me like the other day that's actually probably why we're not seeing a weight loss in her because we see her so often but i could you know be wrong and she could just not be losing weight at all but that is something that we probably should you know, think about the fact that we're seeing her so often. I forgot how it works. It's like, it takes this type of person this long to see you lose weight, another type of person this long, and it takes you the longest. If I can find it, I'll put it in the screen here, but I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I'd weigh in and be like, whoa, I'm down three pounds, yay. Like, that's stupid. For someone my size, that's not yay. 
that's not something to be proud of, TBH. So I know a lot of people don't like when I say that. I'm sorry. It's just another little habit I've formed. So mm, just ignore that. There will be a future weigh-in. And I already know exactly when I want to do it. I've made myself a little goal. You guys, I can promise you I am losing weight. And I'm actually doing really good. And I'm so freaking proud of myself. Like... I know I say that so much. Like, in the past, I'd be down, like, seven pounds. I'd be like, I'm so proud. I mean, seven pounds is a start. I think she probably is losing weight. Is it at the pace that she can be? Probably not. But she's probably really losing weight, and she's probably going to tell us either during Vlogmas or at the start of the next year. Because, as you know, in January, that's when people look for weight loss inspiration the most. So, it's going to be one of the two. We'll see it either in December or January. First week of January, specifically. But I promise you, I just promise, okay? That's all, that's all I'm going to say. Um, Amber, a lot of people trash talk your makeup collection and call you a hoarder because it's a ton of makeup for someone who really wears makeup. For a while there, I wore makeup almost every single day. And I notice when oh, I do yeah. that, I break out a lot. And I recently... Even the 100 days of uploading... 60 of those days she looked like death she looked like she hadn't showered she looked like she was barely maintaining in any way possible so what days are she i don't know i know she does like little things like she'll put on a lippy and she does have a really good wing i will not lie but the amount of makeup she purchases does not reflect in the type of makeup look she does. Does that make sense? I don't know if she realized that's what a lot of people are saying. You you have a lot and you do very little. But then again, that's her whole life. Hmm. Forget it. Carry on. All because I had an allergic reaction. Um, I don't think people should wear makeup every single day. I mean, if you want to, go for it. And honestly, like... There are so many people out there who have a lot of makeup and they only wear makeup maybe once or twice a week, which is fine. Like you don't have to have a set amount of like days that you have to wear makeup to have a certain amount of makeup. That's kind of silly. Less money, just a... Why, thank you. <laughs> My God, that laundry pile is bigger than Pillow Mountain. True that. True that. Go vegan. Uh, no, I tried being vegan. It wasn't for me. Like, I have nothing against people who are vegan. Like, you're super amazing. Like, more power to you. But vegan is not for me. Where are the cats? Wasabi is actually sitting right next to me. And Rarity is probably laying on the bed in the guest bedroom. She loves it in there. <laughs> um, 100% correct, or I have a donkey up my... <laughs> What is this comment what you're about? about. <laughs> um, that's a reply to someone. Reply to someone. Reply to someone. Reply to someone. Oh my god, that's a reply to someone too. Holy crap. Okay, those eggs look so good. They were actually they look good. really freaking delicious, and it just sucks how sick they make me. Like I'm talking. Have you guys ever? Oh, I was about to say, have you guys ever puked? <laughs> Duh. Um, I'm sure everyone has. You know that feeling right before you're about to? Like, your stomach is just, like, so, ugh. Like, there's just no words for it. That's how I feel the whole time. Plus cramps. And it's just not good. Does anyone else click on her videos just to dislike it? Yes, there are people who do that. I and a lot of people every, always come at me with... I don't know if she's about to go on this whole victim train, but... I feel like a lot of YouTubers, especially if they get a decent amount of views, have some people who just click on the video to dislike it. It, It's not that big of a deal. Like, I probably have it. I think we all may have it. It's not big of a deal. But she has a very different ratio when it comes to likes and dislikes. You need to look at your dislike to like ratio. Does that say anything to you about your content? And yeah. honestly, my answer is no. Because a lot of people don't even watch the content. They just go on it that's to not dislike true. it. And that just that's not true. right there. So I ignore the dislike to like ratio. Honestly. I think majority of her views come from people who are actually genuinely watching the video until they can't take any more ads. Because even before this, when I did try to watch Amberlynn, 
one thing I was so grateful for when it came to the reaction channels is the fact that they didn't put 10 average 10 ads in a video by the third ad I was over it I don't think she realizes she's killing she's probably killing her views like that the most putting in so many ads if she did maybe let me not give this girl advice but she shouldn't do so many ads because that's probably one of the reasons people actually wait on reaction channels honestly it doesn't mean anything to me Seems like each X is representative of another 100 pounds. That's a very mm -hmm. good point. I mean, I guess it could oh, be. Clothes, yeah. But I wear all kinds of different sizes. No, um, no, you don't. X to no, you don't. 6X. I know that's like No, really no, she doesn't. She squeezes into all type of different sizes. The reason Amberlynn still fits in Torrid is because she still can squeeze into it based on the based on the material that they use, depending on, you know, the, the fabric or whatever. But I, I remember on Reddit, they had put up a side to side of what the dress was supposed to look like and how Amberlynn wore it. The lining or the part where it was supposed to go down to your waist, it was pretty much under her armpit. And I'll insert a picture of what I'm referring to. Amberlynn believes she's these sizes, but Amberlynn technically doesn't even fit toward anymore. She technically does not fit Torrid. There's some maybe like sweaters, like the cardigans, but when it comes to articles of clothing, like even the dresses that she wears as tops, she actually doesn't fit them anymore. She does not want to admit that to herself for whatever reason. I mean, it probably hits her pride and it sucks. I mean, I've been there, but no, you're not a 3X anywhere, anywhere. And one day I hope 6X is like a blanket on me. Let's just hope for the best. <laughs> I think you need an eye test and glasses. You're straightening your right eye. Maybe read it online and it's going to te deteriorate if you don't act. 100%. I'm supposed to be wearing glasses 24-7. I am nearsighted. So I am straining my eyes. I know I need to go to an eye doctor. I actually lost my glasses. It was probably like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. And then I ended up finding them, and they were scratched, like, horribly, and there was nothing I could do about it. But you're right, though. Unfortunately, it's a sad truth. She can barely do anything. I don't know how she's okay with being able to exercise for only two minutes shaking my head. Oh, my God. I have so much to update you guys on when it comes to this. I am able to do so many things now. I can walk for so much longer than two minutes, and I've really been trying to just keep this, you know off of YouTube because it's so stressful. Like I just get picked apart all the time. I get told I'm not losing weight fast enough or I don't walk fast enough or I don't walk long enough. You guys have to realize that especially when I'm caught, especially when we're talking about my mobility, my mobility is going to be very, very less than the, than the normal average person because I was almost I mean we know of this I don't think anyone is oblivious to that I think some of the complaints was the effort she put into changing her mobility either way she's changing it now that's what matters better late than never keep going but like stop this victim stuff I feel like it's gonna take Amberlynn like 100 to 200 pounds of weight loss before she starts truly being honest and that's accompanied with therapy and other professional help but I think once she loses a certain amount of weight and she seeks a certain type of help, she'll stop playing this victim thing and start being honest about her struggles and what she's caused, like how she caused all this, even down to her channel. At one point, my highest weight was 572.4 and I, I couldn't do anything. Like I literally walked for a minute and 16 seconds back in April and almost died. And to see how far I've come is unbelievable. Wait, like, 572.4? I do the dishes without sitting. Wasn't her highest weight, like, more than 572? I, I feel like it was more than 572. I could be wrong. Again, I've been gone for too damn long anyways, so I'm forgetting things. But yeah, I thought it was more. I think I talked about that in the beginning of this video. Like, I am doing so much better. Um, and where you said she can barely do anything, you're right. You're right. A few months ago... I, I couldn't do the things that I'm doing now at all in the slightest. So I'm going to do one well, why more. Why don't you show that? I'm confused. You Actually, said that you have to. Yeah, like, 
I don't understand what this whole video was. Like, if she is making these strides, why not show us the strides that you're making? People would cheer you on. Like, people still do cheer you on. People still have some hope. I still have some hope. As dumb as it sounds, I still do. But, like, why not show that? She... I don't know how she picks the rest, content bro, that she picks. You already picks. do that 24-7. That's all you do is rest, lol. That's not true. Um, back in the day, for sure, I definitely stayed in my bed a lot. But I no longer do that now. I'm up and doing things and cleaning and cooking and just trying to be productive. And, yeah, I'm just really happy that I'm finally out of, like, this crazy cycle I was in for the longest time. So, anyways, I'm going to end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you oh, next yes. time. Bye. Well, that was a really long video, but I'm happy to be back. I'm hoping Vlogmas doesn't look anything like this, but I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. I will see you guys in the next one, and please don't forget, be better today than you were yesterday and greater tomorrow than you will be today. Later.